But notwithstanding these encouraging developments, skeptics in the community continue to question Hong Kong's capability to transform into an innovation and technology hub. Let me respond to some of these reasonable doubts. I, I know these are reasonable doubts. First, they feel that Hong Kong lacks talents and expertise. Second, Hong Kong does not invest enough in R&D. These are facts. And Hong Kong's research culture and short-term perspective quash innovation. Let me try to respond to these doubts. First, Hong Kong lacks talents and expertise. The reality is Hong Kong is not short of talents. Our science students are among the best in the world in international assessments. And they have won many awards in national and international contests. More than half of the research postgraduates in our six universities, six research universities, are STEM students. The problem is we do not have enough jobs for STEM graduates, and therefore we cannot retain them in Hong Kong. So how do we address that? I'll tell you later. Our universities also have world-class researchers. What we lack is critical mass, because our academics tend to work in silos. Cross-disciplinary and cross-institutional collaboration is few and far between. Publishing academic papers is still the primary mission of our academics. There's very little effort being made to turn scientific discoveries into economic value for Hong Kong. We are tackling these issues on three fronts. First, nurturing interest in science. Working with the Education Bureau, where I work eight years, uh, the Science Park now arranges meetings between secondary students and our entrepreneurs at the Science Park. We develop hands-on activities for students to experience the fun of science. We introduce coding classes for parents and students, and also organize activities and internship for our university students. The newly established Scholarship for Excellence, which is really the brainchild of our chief executive, has identified 100 outstanding students and the government finances them to study overseas. Some of them at Cambridge, in Imperial College, Harvard, all the top notch universities in the world. And I have three mentees who are STEM students, one of them in um, bioengineering and another in, you know, green technology, etc. And we provide a mentor for each of these students and they are required to come back to work in Hong Kong. So we hope to develop and nurture a pool of talents for Hong Kong who has the international exposure. But where do we place them when they come home? We have to create more jobs. And in this respect, the Science Park has been working diligently to create new jobs and more jobs for our science graduates by recruiting multinational companies and world-renowned research institutions to set up a base in Hong Kong. TCL, uh, Hitachi, Karolinska Institute from Sweden, and MIT have all agreed to set up a base and will start operation in 2016. Stanford, ETH in Zurich, Tsinghua, and the Guangzhou Institute of Biomedicine and Health are work in progress. So if we are successful in recruiting these organizations, we estimate over 1,000 additional R&D jobs will be created within three to five years, in addition to all the supporting positions. And in addition to providing employment, we also encourage entrepreneurs at their entrepreneurship and provide a comprehensive range of support services for startups. At present, there are over 220 startups in Science Park's incubation programs. We have three programs um, of various lengths for um, apps, writers, for technology developers, and also for biotech um, scientists. And we plan to expand our capacity to about 400 by the end of 2019. Indeed, the startup community has grown exponentially in recent years. The number of co-working spaces, some of you may be aware, has increased from less than five three years ago to over 45 today. And the number of startups increased 46% over the past year alone. But 
as I mentioned earlier, some of our brightest students, because they couldn't find jobs, they abandoned science, even though they are interested in science, when they joined the university or when they left as they graduated. So in the interim, we do have a vacuum to fill, and we have to fill this vacuum by attracting talents to Hong Kong. On this, I really need your help, in particular the homecomers. I need your help to recruit talents and technology companies from overseas. Hong Kong is an international city. We pride ourselves on being the super connector, as our chief executive always says. Uh, connecting between Hong Kong, the rest of, the, of China, and also the rest of the world. And we enjoy the advantages of being one country, two systems. We speak English. We know how to do businesses in China, and at the same time, we connect well with the rest of the world. Indeed, more and more overseas companies are coming to Hong Kong to explore the markets in the mainland and also in Asia. Um, as the world economy is widely tipped to be gravitating towards the east in the 21st century, 